Welcome to the HPE Aruba Networking Competency Series. Hi, I'm Leah. I'm a Regional Channel Account Manager for HPE Aruba Networking. And today I'm joined by Cameron, who is one of our Channel Systems Engineers. And today we're going to be diving in a little bit to the SD-WAN competency. So we'll be going over some of the technical aspects, benefits to partners. Um, but before we dive into all of that, Cameron, can you talk to me a little bit about what SD-WAN is? Absolutely. So I think everybody's been to some sort of convention or sporting event at some, at some point. And so you can imagine if you had one gate that 60 to 100,000 people are trying to get through, it's going to take it's going to take forever. So really what we're doing is instead of opening one additional line that has a really expensive employee there and it takes a long time to get it going, we're opening eight to 10 more doors so that we can move people through more quickly, right? And the software defined part is that there's employees out there optimizing the lines because not every not every door is going to let people walk through at the same exact speed. Mm -hmm. There's going to be some holdups sometimes. Um, and so really we're just trying to optimize that flow, make it more efficient. We do this without compromising security. The Edge Connect SD-WAN product itself is really about, um, instead of waiting really long periods of time for new expensive lines to be brought to you, maybe physically dug, whatever the case may be, you can use your existing MPLS connection and then you can bring up inexpensive, low cost uh, bandwidth, internet connections that already exist to your buildings. You can bring up new buildings very quickly and efficiently. For those business yeah. applications, we want voice to work smoothly. Uh, we don't want latency and jitter, things of that nature. We want our video meetings. Video meetings are really important these days. Yes. Yeah, we don't want frozen video and technical quality issues, right? So. Yeah. Um, SD-WAN solves those problems. Can you maybe go into some of the technical aspects of this competency? What are engineers going to learn from it? Yeah, so the training is going to cover end-to-end -end deployment. So you're going to learn how to design the solution. You are going to learn how to deploy it using Orchestrator um, on-premise or in the cloud. You're going to learn how to get the, the appliances out there and you're going to be able to create what we call business intent overlays okay and understand what that means because when you're in discussion with a customer or a client they're going to say this application is important to me this one's critical these are important but not as important and really that's how we define what the the business intent overlay is you're also going to learn about boost and really everything that the product has to offer you're gonna feel more confident in that and you're gonna understand what the best practices are and how to do that securely, right? Yeah. Um, as an engineer, I've been there before where they come and drop a project on my desk. I've never deployed this product before oh. and I'm installing it next week, right? It's yeah. very stressful. Um, I, I'm lacking confidence in what I'm doing. I'm doing web searches and reading forums and reading through the KB articles and documentation. And that's not something I want to be doing while I'm doing an installation. That does not create a successful, smooth deployment. Uh, that usually results in more day two calls. Hey, Monday morning, everyone came in and there's a lot of problems. Yeah. Versus, hey, I've taken formal training. Now I feel more confident. I'm less stressed. The project goes more smoothly, right? Yeah. The installation goes better. There's a lot less follow-up calls. My customer is way more satisfied, which creates a future customer and future sales, right? I mean, that's yeah. really the value of becoming competent in something is that it's better for everyone, the engineer, the sales folks, the customers, uh, everyone involved. Can you talk a little bit about, about kind of the time that's saved through going through this competency? Yeah, of course, there's a, a little commitment to time to learn all of this, but it's useful yeah. time, right? I'm learning. Uh, I'm going to make back that time on the initial project because I'm going to spend less time searching the web, like I said, or uh, looking up things that, I've, that I'm not comfortable with. The project is going to uh, go faster and they're also going to give word of mouth exactly. that this went very quickly uh, and professionally and they, they know what they're doing. This partner is great, right? They're competent. Exactly. You know, one of the things that I like to say with customers, you know, when you have a satisfied customer, sometimes that's our best advertising is the word of mouth. Customers talk. It's the best advertising. Exactly. It really is. Yeah. Exactly. So what is the business value from this uh, besides technical installation? There are so many benefits 
to our partners who are just starting out and getting this competency and also those who already have it. But I'll start with those looking into getting this competency first. So from a financial perspective, there are gonna be benefits right off the bat. So right now as a partner with HP Aruba Networking, you get a specific discount from distribution based on your partner level. Once you're certified in this competency, you have it completed, there are gonna be additional benefits on top of that. So you're gonna get extended discounting, backend rebates. Additionally, I actually wanted to mention that right now, there's no cost to get this specific competency. So if you have not gotten it before, this is a great time to go and do that. So I would say for those of our partners who already have this competency, I would encourage them to go back and, and stay current and stay fresh on this training because at HP Aruba Networking, you know, we're constantly going in and updating our training, updating, you know, at, as the industry changes, we are changing with it. One thing that I would say is great too, that I've seen from those who already have this competency is that there's actually a whole other revenue stream that comes from being certified that's outside of HP Aruba Networking. I've seen partners who are certified who have the competency and they're actually assisting partners who aren't. So if I have a partner who's not certified, they sell this product, they get to a certain point where they don't know how to deploy it. And so they're actually going either to us or they're looking on our partner finder and looking for those partners who are certified so that they can assist their customer and have confidence. So it's great for the partners who have the competency and can go in and do that as a third party. But you know, for partners who don't have it, you're losing out on that revenue. So I would really encourage, you know, partners who have it, go and get recertified and partners who don't, you know, you could be leaving money on the table by not being certified right now. Yeah, absolutely. If I'm a partner and I'm interested in this competency, how do I join it? Great question. So to get started, this competency lives in the HPE Partner Ready program, and you'll wanna go there to get started. Now, if you have any questions, I would encourage you to reach out to your channel account manager. They can answer any questions and help you walk through that process. So if you're looking to deepen your expertise, drive incremental attach and boost your service offerings, this is the competency that you wanna take and let's get selling.